Friends, hello. If you decide to like this video, yeah, or subscribe, who cares, whatever. I'm never gonna get a million fans because I could only get 99,000 hits when I was hanging out with Phil Mickelson and we did a fireside on Twitter. Thanks, whatever. He, by the way, he got PIP of the year and I was a part of that. That's another story. Okay, check this out. We're gonna do a video right now on this awesome couch. Cushions? They're over here right now, I'm cleaning them. And you might ask, why is this picture of Taylor Swift from Folklore here? Because it's blocking the, I can't even move it. It's blocking the fuse box door. Oh, and just in case you care, Ron Swanson, Pyramid of Greatness, you're welcome. I really don't like the sound of my voice and I'm gonna listen to this later on. So for fun, I'll do impersonations of someone you might know. Put in the comments if you know who I'm trying to do a bad impersonation of. <clears throat> okay, hello, my name is Sean. Yeah, anyways, I'm sitting here with my new couch. I just got this couch. It's a really good story. I was watching some videos on how to fix your car up and flip cars down in Cocoa Beach. And the guy, he just knew what was wrong with the car right away. And he was able to make $2,500 profit in 18 hours of fixing up a car. And I thought to myself, well, one time I rotated tires and I know how to change the oil and I just changed the engine air filter, so I'm pretty much an amateur mechanic. Yeah, but there's no way I can be as good as Buddy DIY. So, car flipping is probably not in my future. Anyways, after watching a couple more of Buddy's videos, Buddy, give you a shout out right now. I'll put a link to his page. It's good stuff. You learn a lot about fixing up cars and how much they're worth. Used cars. Cars are so expensive right now because no one can get the semiconductor chips. Yeah, before COVID, my used 2017 A4 was worth $9,000 private party. Now, with more mileage on it two years later, hello, it's worth Seventeen five, Wow! That's another story. Back to this couch here. This couch just happened to be... My friends say I'm sometimes lucky. I've managed to happen to be in the right place at the right time, multiple occasions. Anyways, I'm reading about Ryan Pineda who is a wizard, a former professional baseball player from Nevada, Ryan. I gotta give it to you. At first, I thought, man, this guy with his crazy hair, is he from the Hunger Games or Fifth Element? I don't know. But after you get past his looks, he makes a lot of sense. He's in education, real estate, house flipping, Airbnb, NFT, and apparently it all started in 2014 when he said that they couldn't afford furniture for him and his wife, so he started buying used furniture and then it dawned on him, hey, why don't I just resell this used furniture for a quick profit? And he kept doing it over and over. And that perked my interest because I live in a metropolitan area of six million people and most of them have a couch I think I don't know I didn't always have a couch I had a futon and before that I just sat on the floor Indian like cross-legged style yeah anyways Ryan thank you for sharing your videos on couch flipping because
They opened my eyes. This is the very first couch that I bought today at 9.32 p.m. Eastern Time, January 1. Hello, for 2022, I'm on pace to buy 365 couches this year. Beat that. Anyways, the seller was such a sweet gal. She was moving back home and decided, hey, this is a $1,200 couch new, and I can sell it for $500, but you need to clean the dog hair off and the smell first. Yeah. So she gave it to me for 180. She wanted 175 and for me to go into DC and pick it up. So I'm down over 200 yards over yonder and I'm looking for those people that wait at U-Haul and you just hire them and say, hey, if I give you 10 burritos, will you help me move? They weren't there. It was 545 at night. Anyways, I went into the U-Haul place to ask if I could just borrow that truck to go pick up this couch. It was really dark. They were closed. Sign says closed at 7 p.m., but they shut the system down. Okay, back up. I can go to Reagan Airport, go to Enterprise. I can rent a pickup truck, $60, 24 hours, no problem. But I don't have the straps or a furniture trolley. I don't know what to do. I don't have blankets. Luckily, Abby texts me, hey, you know what? I'll just deliver the truck to you. Even though you're not really on the way, you pretty much live in the Bermuda Triangle of Northern Virginia. Yeah, more on that later. Anyways, Abby brings the couch by and we can't even get it on the elevator because it's too long. It's 95 inches. Hello, that is 7.9 feet. The elevator is seven and a half feet high. But Abby had to go back on the road, so a kind stranger in my building, he was smaller than me. I asked him, kind sir, could you please help me put this on the elevator? I live on the eighth floor. Thank you. So we moved it. First we had to carry it up one level and then push it down the hallway to the freight elevator, which is 10 feet high. We got it on there, no problem. Yeah, we got it up into my apartment. I'm gonna clean it in the morning. I have to go buy supplies. Yeah. Anyways, I'm sorry. That story was probably stupid and just wasted everybody's time. So maybe next time I'll do a better video for you. If you get anything out of this, it's that Never say no. If somebody wants to sell you a couch for $100 and you don't need it, just say yes and you never know what will happen. There will probably be a follow-up video where I tell you, do I keep the couch and let my guests sit on it and watch my two TVs? Hey, I got Netflix, we got Hulu, Disney+, Plus, ESPN+, Plus. we got Peacock Network. Wow. Anyways, I'll update, I'll update you next week what I do with the couch. I just wanted to document this historic day for all my fans, all three of you. You know who you are. You've probably been out on the town, maybe went to a baseball game. Who knows? That's all I have today. Goodbye.